to Gower. David Gower in tremendous form. That ball wasn't all that short and he absolutely whacked it away past square leg. Played a couple of beautiful shots like that uh, the other day. Off of Troop to Gower. There's the short one again. And very quickly into position. David Gower really has seen that ball well. Eight run. Troop to Gower. Safely through. Four runs. Nicely placed. Was slightly up -ish. It was in the air, but safely between cover and extra cover and hit with tremendous power and perfect timing. Gower here hitting the ball on the up. As you can see, it wasn't a half volley, and the foot was not quite to the bounce of the ball, but nonetheless, he went through with the stroke, just delayed his wrist action a little bit, and smote it right between the two fieldsmen. Found the gap perfectly, as you can see. shot again. Beautifully timed around the onside. Not a bad ball, but delightful cricket that by Dave. That's beautifully timed. So that's expensive for Jeremy Coney, David Gower, not able to get his line right. The right and left hand a combination. Upsetting David Gower takes strike now to Richard Hadley. Delicate little late cut there from Gower. He's looking for two. Chatfield coming in there, and that's his 50. Well, that's a magnificent innings by David Gower. He certainly is the English batsman in form. Nine in the first match, 122 in the second World Series Cup match. And Gary is now undefeated on 50. Certainly run right into form as David Gower as he's threatened all year. Well, he got over 400 runs in the Test Series. He was England's ice scorer. He, was, he made 441 in the five test matches and played absolutely superbly. Ewan Chatfield has bowled four overs for five runs. David Gow goes over the top of mid-wicket. Doesn't quite get it in the middle of the bat. But it's only a short boundary out there. Chatfield to Gower. Oh, that's a good shot from Gower. Lofting that away and it lands on the Greyhound track for a six. That's the first six for David Gower and England in this innings. Well, he's been looking to cut this. Chatfield just straying onto that leg stump and Gower so quick to pick it up. Hit it just behind square. Short boundary out there. And onto the Greyhound track and into the crowd. A beautiful hit. Hit it very clean, cleanly. Just giving him an ounce of room to get back on us. That's he goes again, he gets the fine slip. A four. Intentional shot. He's done it twice. He races to 94. There's no slip in there for the edge, and one can't blame the New Zealanders for that. And uh, have a look at the edge there. Trying to run it down to third man, getting a little edge, and the gloves of Webb aren't able to stretch far enough to get anywhere near that one. And the third man down on the boundary is just a little squarer. And so another four to Gower. He's gone a big straight hit. Man down it, clears him. It's four more, and David Gower's on fire. Tearing the New Zealand attack apart. Tremendous stuff. A big crowd here at the Gabba. Really enjoying this onslaught. Troop to Gower. Out in the deep, will he drop in the short one? He doesn't, he glides up there the third man. Well played, David Gower. Tremendous ovation, a standing ovation from the crowd here at the Gabba, and he's enjoying it too. A run almost every ball, having a tremendous summer. Test century, two World Series Cup hundreds, and applause from everybody who loves cricket. A tremendous performance by this young player. Well, it's what a valuable in England. And uh, I detected just a hint of envy there in the voice of Bill Laurie. Seeing a left-hander out there on the one hand and a left-hander who can play shots all around the ground. Yes, he's just got natural talent. I think anybody could be envious of a man of his ability, some 25 years of age. And David Gower takes strike now to Richard Hadley. Oh, six big hits. That's over the fence at deep final leg. 100 stand between Randall and Gower, brought up in magnificent fashion. 
David go having a superb summer. It was short, but under it, whipped it over while on. Did fine week for six. It's a lovely shot there. I think uh, Hadley perhaps thought that Gar was going to move backwards. He didn't, and uh, have a look how he latched onto that one. Ever so easily, right off the middle of the bat, albeit that the ball was way down the leg side, and he hit it right onto the dog track over the top of the deep fine leg. Boundary 77 minutes under that partnership came up in, and there's a few blows like that that's going to get the England total to around about 250. Martin Sneddon to Gower, safely away over the top. A very good shot from David Gower, mid towards the end of the innings. So our orthodox batting will be seen, but that was very well placed, very well thought out by Gower. 48 overs gone and uh, 50 overs the maximum two overs to go one for hadley and one i suspect for snedden though he's uh, called nine overs for 67 now six great hit oh a long way back into the celeste wilson stand magnificently picked up Peter Williams from New Zealand Television is with us. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. The ball drifting down the line, just slightly outside the leg stump, and David Gow picking it up on the drop kick. And well, that's equally good a stroke. Six more. Gloria shot two sixes off Hadley in this over. And Hadley's trying to keep him quiet by keeping the ball away from off stump, where Gow is so strong. The answer has been to loft him away twice with magnificent strength. Just goes to show Richie that on a day like today, David Gar does not really have any weaknesses at all. No matter where you bowl to him, he can uh, score from you. Martin Snedden to Gower. In the air. Chatfield is the man coming round. Two of them going for it. Chatfield should have been the one to go. He was going towards the ball. The other man, Ruzetko, was going away from it, having to take it over his shoulder. And Gower has picked up two to go to 154, which is now the highest score in the Benson Hedges World Cup, World Series Cup competition. Beating Viv Richards, 153. And Bruce Edgar and Ewan Chatfield, the two Wellingtonians converging. Chatfield leaving it to Edgar, and he did not make a very good job of it. Beautiful stroke again. Defence on the fall. 